I'm Maria Menunos, and you're tuned in to AfterBuzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz begin. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Quarantine with the Stars here on AfterBuzz TV. This is, of course, your daily series where we're interviewing some of Hollywood's hottest up-and-comers. We've got actors, writers, directors, producers. And today, I'm so excited to be joined by Carlo Arachea. I told Carlo I was going to apologize because I assumed I would kind of butcher his last name. Carlo, how did I do? You did great, man. Arachea. I did, okay. Perfect, perfect. Okay. <laughs> I'm smarter than I look. Um, and guys, of course, my name is Jeff Graham, and I'm just excited to be chatting with Carla today. Um, most recently, we're so excited to sort of feature your debut on American Primetime TV, of course, yeah. in the show SWAT. Um, before we dive into that, I just want to ask, how has your quarantine been so far? It's been actually great, to be honest. The first two weeks, it was kind of like adapting, but I've just been meditating, um, reading, working out, you know, just... Um, becoming better every Good. day you know it's, it's just being proactive that's 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 the best that i can do at the moment with what i have that's great i mean like that's really all we can do right now right. are you quarantining in los angeles i am yeah i mean LA. what part of town um i don't <laughs> can i well i don't want to say i don't want to oh say that's okay I'm no yeah, worries. Yeah, so. I'm, the only reason I ask, I'm in West Hollywood, and there's been a ton of protests here. I'm not sure if you're in a busy part of town or not. We're close. We're close. Very close. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely, I mean, it's a whole, I don't know, what's, what's it been like for you just to sort of, you know, this new chapter in our country's history? I don't know if that's made you reconsider anything or how you're dealing with it. No, it's just, you know, it's just part of, of, of a huge change I feel it's coming and, and, and we have to go through this in order to really have a change for, for a better um, present moment in the future, you know? So it's, it's, I think it's, it's, it's part of the process and, yeah. and we have to go through that in order to, you know, to grow and, and become again as, as, as a human, you know, human kindness, empathy. I, I think it's, I think we are in the right direction, you know, it's, even that it's, it's, it's hurting and it's, you know, it's creating a lot of chaos and contrast, but um, I'm pretty, I feel, I feel that, you know, it's, it's going to be for good. It's going to be for good. I, I agree with you. I mean, I'm, I'm sure as like an immigrant to this country, there's an element of you that understands the plight of people who aren't being seen or treated fairly by the system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking yes, of, I mean, you come from Cuba, you come from a three generation acting family. Despite studying psychology, you just had to become an actor, right? It's, it's in my blood, man. It's my, yeah. in my DNA, you know. Um, I don't see myself doing anything else. <laughs> yeah, well, that's good. I mean, you, you've had a nice run. Of course, you started primarily Spanish speaking roles, telenovelas. Um, can you talk, when you think back on your Spanish speaking career as an actor, which I know you have both an English and Spanish speaking career as an actor, what are some of your highlights from your time before your debut in English television? It was definitely um, a Nickelodeon show. I, I was doing this show for almost three years and um, we did like 152 episodes and it really changed my, my career. Um, yeah, it was a beautiful role. A lot of fun, a lot mm -hmm. of fun. Yeah. Definitely. And so now I have to ask, uh, what's it like now that you've made your entrance into English speaking television? Of course, for those who haven't seen the episode, what can you say about your episode of SWAT? It's one of the best episodes, I think. Um, it's, it's a beautiful story about this Cuban middleweight boxer, world champion of the world. Um, a lot of, you know, boxing. It's a really heartfelt role. Um, it shows who we are as Cubans, as, as, as humans, you know the love that we have for our family. Family is mm. everything for us. We're very passionate. So you should definitely check it out. It's actually on CVS All Access. So um, it's called Knocked Out. And it's a great episode, you know. It, it was, and it was a huge challenge for me as well as an actor. Well, the SWAT is a hugely popular show. I mean, CBS in general, they're the highest rated primetime network. Millions yeah. and millions of people watching this show. Have you gotten feedback or heard from any surprise people that saw you on the episode? Yeah, I actually have um, earned uh, really great fans from the show. They want to see more yeah. of, of my story, so that's that's amazing. And you know, some writers from the show um, has reached out, um, 
actors from the show. And yeah, I'm, I'm really happy. I'm really satisfied that my work, it's, you know, they like my work and, and people are enjoying my work in, 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 the, in the U.S. market. So totally. Yeah. Um, speaking of the U.S. market, when you think about continuing your journey and, you know, English speaking roles, are there any actors or directors that you'd really love to work with? I would love to work with Andy Garcia. He's, mm. he's from Cuba as well. And, you know, he's a legend. And um, I would love to, to work with him, definitely. Cool. Yeah. Um, I love that. I'm, and I also love asking actors along those same lines. Would you ever be interested in maybe writing or directing your own material? Not for now. I just want to act for now. Just, yeah. just that's my main um, focus now, you know. What kinds of roles would you like to continue to play maybe that you haven't gotten a chance to play yet? I really want to do sitcom. I okay. want to do, yeah, yeah, that's, that's my, I'm putting that in the universe um, when th this whole thing, you know, when we're able to start, I would really would love to do some sitcom, some comedy. Cool. Um, yeah, very different what? from SWAT. When you think of sitcoms and potential roles, would you want to do like a single cam where you're on a set or a multi-cam in front of a live studio audience? Multi-cam, but, cool. but I don't know how this is going to be now with, with the new, you know, um, protocols and all of that. I don't know. So It's crazy. I know you have some theater experience as well. I, I just got off an interview with um, actually another Latin actor, Juan Pablo de Pache, who is a, a star of the show Fuller House. Okay. We were just talking about, you know, they wrapped their season before the pandemic, but it's going to be really interesting to see what the future of multicam television is. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I love, uh, you know, I started doing um, theater, so mm -hmm. I, I love theater. It's, it's just the energy from the live audience. It's, it's just magic. Yeah, I mean, we were thinking maybe you could do it where you're putting on shows where people are sitting six feet apart, but... I, it's hard for me to picture a world of culture with no theater or no live performance. I think it's going to have to come back at some point. Yeah, yeah, definitely. At least, I don't know, maybe 25% or 30%, yeah. you know. Um, the good thing about humans that we can adapt to anything. Mm -hmm. So we're going to adapt and, and we're going to overcome this. And yeah, <laughs> we have to. We no have choice. to. <laughs> I, I couldn't agree more, Carlo. I couldn't agree more. Um, so when you think about, you know, the, the industry right now, I've been reading in some of the trades, they might start slowly start opening things up. They're going to try to do social distancing on set. I don't know. What have you been hearing on your end, like from management, uh, maybe from producers? Do you, do you think we're going to start opening up soon? Um, uh, I don't think so. Soon, soon. No, I don't know. I think it's going to take a while to, to really see what we can do. You know, because I think starting right away or, or very soon, it could, yeah, it won't be, it won't be good. But like I said, we, we're going to be able to adapt and to, to overcome this. So, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, have you been practicing any like auditions or anything or any self tapes? I'm, I'm curious to hear from actors sort of what's going on behind the scenes in development as well. You know, I'm going to be really honest with you. I'm just being working on myself. You yeah. know, because I, I've been reading, I, I started reading this amazing book that is called The Seat of the Soul by mm. Gary um, Suka. It's amazing. So I've just been, you know, trying to, to, to become better. That, that's that's my main, my main um, focus now. So, yeah, just, just wanted to relax, you know, relax, take my time, do whatever my heart desires. You know? That's good. Well, now's the time to do it. And, you know, part of being a great actor is drinking in life, right? You need to acquire these experiences to really prepare yourself for future yeah. roles. So I think spending time reading, working out and bettering yourself is only going to help your career in the future. Yeah, it's, it's about life experience, you know, and, and I'm, I'm giving that to myself. It's, it's a beautiful gift that I can give myself and I'm able to. So I'm doing that. I have to ask, are you watching any good TV while in quarantine or movies? Um, not really. Good for you. No, really. no, not TV for now. No, no, just, just reading, just in my own world, you know. Well, that's however, very impressive. However, I have to say, I, I just watched Home Alone. Oh, for nice. The first, for the first time. <laughs> okay, this is so exciting. I love Home Alone. I know my producer loves Home Alone. I have to ask, as a first timer to Home Alone, what did you think? I love it. I love it. Um, I, I'm sorry, I forgot the name of the of the of the actor. What's what's his name? Uh, Macaulay Culkin. 
wow, he's amazing. I know. He's wow. Great. I was like, like, wow. Like, what a great actor, you know? It's, it was fascinating to, to watch that. So I enjoy it. I just want something, you know, to relax, something that is just easy to digest. And, and that movie was released when I was born. Yeah. And I was in Cuba, and we didn't have, you know, in Cuba, we don't, we don't even have TVs. I mean, maybe now we do, but now back in the days. Um, so, yeah, uh, I love Well, that. Carlo, I, I think you're, you can say you've officially been indoctrinated into American pop culture. <laughs> I feel like Home Alone is like an essential. <laughs> so that's yeah. good. I, I'm glad you've seen it. It's uh, the scene where Catherine O'Hara, who plays his mom, comes home and they see each other. I uh, always start weeping during that scene. That was such a heartfelt scene. I know. Wow. And, and, and especially the moment that he looked, he looked at her and it was kind of like, you left me, mm -hmm. but I love you. Yeah. And then, ah, uh, that was, yeah. Yeah. Carlo, when Christmas comes around, I know we're, we live fairly close to each other. If, uh, if things are open back up, we'll have to do a holiday party where we watch Home Alone. I would love to, yeah. And I don't have any family in LA. All my family is in Miami. So yeah, yeah, please do. Yeah, I would We'll make to. it happen. I love it. Yeah. Uh, well, Carl, I wish we had more time. I feel like I could chat with you all day, but uh, it's been great just chatting with you. It seems Thank like you. things are going Thank well. You. And um, just let everyone know again where they can catch that episode of SWAT. So they can, yeah, you can watch my episode on CBS All Access. It's episode 15, Knocked Out. And... Yeah, I'm also excited that, you know, great things are coming, you know, when things start um, picking up. So can't wait to share everything with all of you. And totally. thank you so much for having me. Of course, it's our pleasure. You're welcome back anytime here on After Buzz thank TV. In the meantime, guys, my name is Jeff Graham. This has been Quarantine with the Stars. If you want to catch up with me on Twitter, you can do that at Jeffrey C. Graham. Carlo, where's the best place to reach you on social? It's Carlo Arrechea. I know it's really... <laughs> <laughs> Very unique. But yeah, it's um, in Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Carlo Arrechea. So you can find me um, right there. Perfect. Well, Carlo, thanks so much. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you guys here next time on Quarantine with the Stars, only on AfterBuzz TV. Thank you. Our founder, Kevin Undergaro, and me, Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to AfterBuzz TV. Remember, we're not just the first, we're the biggest in the world, and we're the only destination for all your favorite TV shows. Whatever you crave, we've got it. So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later. <laughs> The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.